Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Today, as we welcome you to your grade 11 Euclidean geometry, we're going to talk about the terminology of the circles. The reason we're starting with this is because throughout your grade 11 Euclidean geometry, you'll be making use of these terms. Terms like segment, chord, center or circle center, diameter, radius, tangent, and an arc. Okay, you're going to make use of these weights. So without any waste of time, let's draw the circle. So you can go ahead and draw the circle as well. And then I'll give you just five seconds. Okay, you have drawn your circle. So I'm going to put a dot, which I will say, oh, let me, okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to put a dot in the center of the circle. We're going to call it our center O, okay? It's going to be our center O. Now, I'm going to join a line from one end of the circumference to the other a line that passes through the center and we're going to call this line here a diameter or rather it is what we call a diameter so please work with me guys please work with me so remember diameter is a line that passes through the center of the circle and it it's basically um, moving from one point of the circumference to another then from the from the thingy from the center let's draw another line that goes to the circumference and we're going to call that line a radius right we're going to call that line a radius so a radius is a line from center of the circle to a point on the circumference and by the way something you should know about the radius is that it is equal in a circle so this radius here is equal to this radius here is equal to this radius here the plural of it which is called radii right then we're done with this thing that we call radius now i want you to i want you to draw a big line on the circumference okay just a big line the way that I'm doing it and this line here we call it um, we call it an arc okay we call it an arc okay we call it an arc what is it it is a portion of the circumference of a circle okay it is a portion of the circumference of a circle what is it it's an arc okay then we will draw another line which is not passing through the center so we will call this line here um maybe okay okay we will call this line let me let me draw it in this way we will call this line here um let's call it um this line here the one that you see me drawing now it's not passing through the center but it's moving from one point of the circumference to another we will call it a chord okay we will call it a chord okay we will call it a chord all right we will call it a chord now imagine if we were to cut off imagine if we were to cut off this portion of the circle um, where the chord passes all right if we were to cut off this part so this part that i'm saying it's a uh, we cutting off we call it a segment okay we call it a segment maybe let me use um a bigger font um we call it a segment okay yeah bigger font size is better so we call this portion here a segment okay we call it a segment now, something that I need to mention is that a chord is a line that 
touches the graph only once. Okay, is a line that I mean is a line that touches the graph twice, not once. Is a line that touches the graph twice. Now I'm going to introduce another line that touches the graph, but it touches it only once. So maybe let's call this point here P, and assuming the line moves like this, so we're saying this line here. Um, let me call it line A B. Okay, let me call it line A B. So this line AB is what we call a tangent, okay, is what we call a tangent. So a tangent is a line that cuts the circle only once. Now, even when we talk of graphs, a tangent is a line that touches your graph only once. Now that we also spoke of a segment, uh, rather a chord, a chord is a line that cuts the circle twice, all right? As you can see, in this here, in this chord here, it touches the graph here and here. So these are two points. So one asks, is also, a, is diameter a chord? Yes, it is a chord. Why? Because it touches the circle twice, right? It touches the circle twice. Okay, so these are the terms that you will come across this year when you do your grade 11 Euclidean geometry. Okay, guys, remember these terms. Okay, all right, guys, so see you next time and bye-bye.